poetry. Poetry films. Oh, okay. The women in my family are bitches. Cranky oh. bitches. Stuck up uh, bitches. Customer service turns sour oh, bitches. Gosh. Can I help you, bitches? Next in line, bitches. I haven't seen I this, this video before, it me but mean, it's bitches. perfect so far. Can you take a so picture far. of my outfit full length? Get the heels in, bitches. I always this wear heels is for the fiesta. I never take them off, bitches. Fantastic American bitches. shouty poetry. I like this. You better text me when I love you get it. Home, okay, bitches. Pray before the baby comes, bitches. Very high quality poetry baby video. Baby Not what I'm used to. My eyes, well, my eyeliner. And my fight this is really simple, but but it works. I love this. I really like the um, repetition on this. is fantastic. This is exactly how spoken words should be. I think. Lipstick stained on an envelope. I'll be damned if I'm compliant, bitches. The what did you? This is like considering how like American this is. It feels like quite really positive. Bitches. Feeling that. Yo. Oh man. I love them short and sweet. Best kind of poems. I especially love the the plosive sounds when you repeat P sounds that pa, 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 pa. that really works. My favorite dance teacher, Emma, is the most beautiful woman in the world. I know this one. Come on, Kate Yales. Wonderful. Wonderful video. Wonderful poem. She never wears makeup. Only laugh lines and so graceful. I love this poem so much. And what a beautiful video as well. This is really nicely shot. Really nicely shot. Mm, great turnout. It reminds me of Alice Gretton's poetry, actually. Inspiring us without knowing it. Emma danced a legend through our dreams. Did you know? Emma used to be famous. Used to dance on the New York stage, hold halls and throw. Katie and I were both ballet dancers and then both became poets. But she's used her ballet dancing in a way that I haven't. This is like cute, but having seen it like back to back with the last one, this is like twee and slow. This is real good. I also grew hips and tits and had to stop doing ballet. I've seen this live and watched the video so many times. Just. This is good. This is good. It's always a shame when you hear a story about someone who just shuts themselves down like that. Oh, this violins, they're getting to me. I'm going to have to do a cry. <laughs> this is picking up. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm into this now. I'm into it. How to be anything but pointed. Emma wears polos, and one day after class, she almost let slip that sex is the best way to improve your turnout. <laughs> she caught herself and said, no, sorry, it's, not. it's uh, having babies it's that true. improves your turnout. Baby. This is exactly what you want from a poetry video. So many poetry videos are just somebody talking to the camera, and this, like, elevates that medium. It's a beautiful piece. It's just remarkable. This is good. Like now it's fit into the rhythm. I'm I'm like really, really here for this. It's kind of sapphic as well. Do you love some good sapphic stuff? This is the best piece of poetry I've seen this evening. She's such a good storyteller. This is this is genuinely legitimately beautiful. It's that way of taking different types of story and sort of bringing them together. It's just beautiful. Really, really nice. How to walk the world straight, how to walk the world straight. There's so much emotion going on right now. I can't frame how annoyed I am, but how in love with this poem I am. All at once for different reasons. I like that it's not beating you over the head with the point of what it's trying to tell you. It's like kind of presenting it to you. Minimizing that Emma wears polos, and all I want to tell her is take them off. Take your top off. You are beautiful. Yeah. Mm, not sure if that stuck the landing. I loved it. And then suddenly this last line, I was like, oh. That punch at the end there. I can feel myself going, oh. Man, that is such a good piece. 
Fuck how good that poem is. That's amazing. Muddy feet. Nice. All right. Looks like London. It sounds like it's going to be my jab. I love bus stops. Snogging. Don't snog him. I bet it's going to be so dark now. Being the only other <sighs> Always look awkward. Rather uncomfortable. Imagine being employed I to snog. Like splitting you two up and telling that in a couple of years. <sighs> Just the thought of his hand upon your wow. skin will make you cringe. And you, mister. Bit nihilistic. Yes, you. You'll be drinking and screwing girls. You kind of... Cool, cry. this is some dark themes going on here. I'm frustrated. Like everyone else on but that'd be a weird gig to get. And that's some awfully cynical. Into one so when you get home, I love that this. Some girl, it's nice to see like the complicated bits of the relationship. she be doing it for real. Oh, Don't that's a gig to get. <laughs> she'll feel dirty and unsatisfied, just like you. Uh. And after a few more years. <sighs> You could be married. This is people. not my bag at all. Your, that you're married, I don't know. I struggle with poems like this because it's prescriptive of somebody else's experience, uh, which, any. you know, for some people will be true, Absolutely but for others will be totally different. To be there. Agree to disagree. Correct. <laughs> the moral of the story is never grow up, kids. <laughs> Great poem. Really enjoyed it. Poets are such pervs. They like see a couple snogging and then imagine this whole story for them in their head. How creepy. I've done it too, though. 60 seconds. It's harder than I thought. The awkward acrobatics required to pee on this stick without getting any on my fingers, which are only trembling slightly. It is surprisingly difficult. 58 seconds. Wendy S. This is, is very relatable. <laughs> slut the jagged stool on the wall. Oh, don't, Wendy if you're in a public bathroom stall, really don't do that. sullen, lip-glossed mouth, a bare-knuckle laugh that both beckons you closer and pushes you away. Bare-knuckle laugh. Maybe she thought if she right. kissed enough boys, they'd feel her attempts to pass That's a great line. Bare-knuckle laugh. The glistening carriage of her tongue. Wow. I spit on nice line. Try and fail to wipe Is it Vanessa Casuto? 44 seconds. Only with the faint taste of metal do I realise... I love the stillness in this. Hard it's wonderful. Why is she taking a pregnancy test in a public toilet? Like, that is the last place on earth I would want to do that. Four days after the condom split. Ten days after... Oh, been there. Oh. 38 seconds. Don't look. Not yet. No peeking. This is such a stressful feeling. I have an unshakable tendency of... The door's open as well. Oh, my God. Mum will kill me. Slowly. With long silences. This poem is fucking sick. She'll give me a look that says, You have taken a rusty penknife to the bottom of my world and <sighs> through each fine little stitch. Ooh. <laughs> what a shame. I want to go to business school. I may shame. even have my own company people. by the age of 25. I'll I don't want to talk over this because I'm really enjoying it. Large um, prams who block my way in the supermarket aisles. Let my sour pitch the video itself is really simple. As I compare and my some of the writing is fantastic. Pino I'm really enjoying it. She doesn't smile with her mouth, but with her open palm. Mm. She's the Gorgeous line. A book written in invisible it's such a good poem. 16 seconds. Most days, I can't decide what to have for lunch. Never mind. Nobody ever knows what's going on. Five seconds. Nobody ever knows what's going on. the pictures. Pieces pickled in what ifs. The hands that have already formed cautious fingers. Pickled in what ifs. Nine seconds. And still. Should be illegal to write lines that good. Possibly car crash of a child cannot be. I'm not ready to abort my embryonic dreams. Seven seconds. This is when picking up. When rises in my throat, I swallow it down like cheap vodka. Chase it with flat platitudes like. Mm -hmm. Everything is going the to be. The moment before you look is the worst. Five seconds. My feet are stuck to the floor. The toilet I love the counting down in this as well. It's such a nice framing device. It really takes us there. A crown with my claws. It's the anticipation. It's fab. Seconds. It's brilliant. I remember one Rizla thin night. Dan taking my hand oh, and kissing it's beautiful my line. Stashed a precious secret. Oh, right oh man. Me. Three. Two. One. Oh, fuck. Well, man, that fucking poem. Fuck off. Like, literally, I can feel my heckles going up. 
That is a fucking amazing poem. So first and foremost, what did you think of the videos and the poems? A really nice mix of different kind of different ways to go about a poetry video. I just feel like with the two more American ones, there's a more like uh, emotional journey. Like it's emotional. Um, I'm, I'm giving you this emotion or this feeling or this like thing. Be empathetic with me. And the two uh, more British ones you picked are more like a film, a story. I I like the first one. I always enjoy when poetry's got like a beat behind it. The, the background music that had me going like, mm, like a nodding dog. <laughs> Because the music is never, never really talked about in like poetry films, and I think that the music is really important. The second one was like legitimately bone chillingly, charmingly beautiful. I have seen Polos so many times; it's great. It just it all fits together so well. On top of Katie's fantastic poem, that was an incredible piece of poetry. Um, I, I'm, I'm the only thing that pisses me off is leave some talent for the fucking rest of us. Um, the third one just wasn't my speed at all. Like I said with the first one, like I'm probably not the target audience for that poem, which is fine. Poetry's not, not all poetry's for me. Um, there is a target market out there of poets who are um, cynical. The, uh, yeah, that bus stop one. That hits so close to home. <laughs> just like, and I feel like for everyone that's ever experienced anything like that, it was just like, <laughs> That last one was particularly, like, I really liked how simple it was. It felt very relatable and, um, yeah, I'm really glad they didn't tell you how it turned out at the end because that one was very beautiful as well. The drip of the tap forming an ellipsis on, like, you know, like, really, like, lines that I was like, oh, that was, did not expect that. Surprising lines, always nice. How well do you think poetry works with video? I think, um, I think it can work really well. Um, I think what you need to do as the poet is to be aware that there's more you can do with video than just have you talking to camera. I think it, it tells it in a way that's much more powerful than just hearing it. Watching them as well, like the bus stop poem I've heard before, and I think it was really nice watching it as a film. You know, I've read it and I've heard it and it was really nice seeing that, seeing that journey. And it, it does allow you to do some really beautiful things like the, the dance in the, um, in the second film or to have music in the background that's timed really nicely. Yeah, I think if I was to show anyone an example of how to do a film poem, it would be polos. NLP have always been very good at that kind of thing, um, especially with film, especially with, you know, Perry Johnson on their side um, doing just amazing work with them. Some people find poetry really hard to digest and I think getting into it as an idea of a film or part of a thing, part of this art form that you really enjoy is useful. It, it's a way of seeing the performance poet that you would not be able to see in person. Those, those videos are brilliant and important. Um, and yes, please, more of that. But at the same time, let's do some more other shit too. For performance poets, it's really, really important for us to be able to um, show our performance to people. Not everyone can come, you know, you're not going to get 60, 66.8 million people uh, a gig in the back of a pub. So YouTube's probably a good fucking way to do it. Do you want every video shot of every poem to be of you on a stage in the back of a pub? No, you fucking don't. You're gonna want some different production values, some different methods of, of bringing that message to people. So videos like that, fuck yes. Why do you think there are more poetry videos being filmed? Um, time and money. Money. Because it's like effort. <laughs> um, I think it's just really flipping hard to do. I think a lot of poets don't have access to um, good creative collaborations with filmmakers. A lot of poets think in words and don't think in pictures. I think often poets are kind of like lone wolf types. And to collaborate is, you know, you have to put yourself out there. You have to approach people or people have to approach you. Um, you know, it, it's one thing to sit on your own and write a poem. It's another to get a cinematographer, to get, you know, a camera person, to get a director, to get everyone together to, who all believes in the message of this one poem and is like willing to put time and money into it. I think that's the only reason why there aren't more. Of them.